Let's move over to uh, the Patriots at Lions. This is a, a total that I jumped on early. I got the over 51 and a half at minus 108. There's now 53 and a half and 54s. It opened with sixes, six and a half, and sevens on Tuesday. Now just sevens across the board. We talked about uh, Belichick not losing twice in a row. We talked about with Edelman out. All you have to do is key on Gronk. We talked about Slay's concussion. That's still a question mark. There are some nice things being said about Patricia's defense. Eight sacks already this season. That's the only good thing you can say about what Patricia has done in my eyes. Although they did look better in San Francisco. Uh, I thought that was a, a, you know, a nice situation for them seeing the 49ers, um, line, uh, the line going so crazy in, in, in San Francisco's favor. And, uh, I mean, you had some very interesting points on that Detroit-San Francisco uh, game whale capper last week. But Patriots at Lions. Uh, Donnie, what are you thinking here? Yeah, no, I don't really like the side too much. You know, New England going on the road, lane seven. I know, hey, we're always going to get back, but that team didn't look too good last week. I know it was the Jacksonville Jaguars on defense, but I was looking more about the offense of the New England Patriots. They didn't look that sharp either. I think they were able to get back. And look, Matt Patricia has been in New England. I don't think he knows anything more than anybody else would know because figuring when people leave New England, they tend to not coach as well, being the head coaches. This is a team that's downtrodden. They're going to be 0-3. I think the New England Patriots win this game, but I tend to actually lean a little bit more to the over, even though you're not getting a lot of value. 53 and a half looks like it's going to be across the board. It has everything you like. An embarrassed New England team, which they're probably going to come out and try to scorch the earth. You have a defense that shouldn't put up that much resistance for Detroit. But also when you flip it over, what resistance is New England giving up on their defense? Matt Stafford, again, I'll talk about it time and time again. If you're going to take an over, give me a boomer bust quarterback. He's going to throw and throw and throw and throw. And there's going to be any wind conditions there. It's going to be no rain. It's going to be no bad weather, cold weather. They're in a dome. I could see both of these teams throwing each other into the football game. And again, if it's late, is New England going to get a stop if they're down? You know, let's just say New England has a 14 point lead late. Stafford should be able to swish cheese that defense right up and down the field. I'll lean towards the over in this one as opposed to a side. Finally, finally, I have a bet that agreed upon by one of you guys. I don't need to panic. Uh, Whale Capper, what are you thinking here? Uh, first of all, about the total. Uh, it, it wouldn't surprise me if you guys see a resume come through from whatever poor lines maker hung that opener at 45 and a half because that guy <laughs> definitely got fired. Uh, that was about <laughs> yes, the worst yes. opener I've seen to date this season. Uh, and uh, it's, you know, we're seeing what, an eight point move off of that? It's a crazy, crazy, crazy uh, situation there. But um, I'm taking a pretty nasty position here backing the lions in the points in uh what looks to be kind of a make me look smart or make me look stupid kind of play yeah. of the week um it's a spot i was looking forward to all season that actually got even inflated off of the look ahead number uh in mm -hmm. the preseason we were expecting to see detroit plus four right here i had it circled because the patriots uh, if you look back to the preseason, this is their fifth week, uh, fourth week in a row on the road out of five. Uh, they had that one home game sandwiched uh, with uh, Houston in between their last two preseason games on the road and their, their second and third week on the road. So they've done a ton of traveling. Uh, that's got to you know, have a cumulative fatigue issue with this team. Um, I agree with everything Donnie said about how questionable the Patriots looked against the uh, Jaguars last week. Uh, they effectively have one weapon in the passing game. His name is Rob Gronkowski. And if you can body him with uh, a safety and a linebacker, then you can effectively take him out of the game. Uh, the Jaguars gave the, you know, the, the Lions a little bit of a blueprint, although by no means did Matt Patricia not already know this, having you know, previously been in a lot of practices against Gronkowski. Uh, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that the, uh, uh, that the scheme that they put out there on defense for the Lions can keep the Patriots under 40. Uh, and then I feel like my six and a half has a shot. Uh, the, um, I'd say the, what the Lions did not quitting in San Francisco should be applauded, I guess. Uh, they looked so bad on Monday night uh, against the Jets, turned around on a short week, went out to San Francisco, gave up a you know, big fat lead. Uh, and you know, from everything we've heard, the team does not love Patricia. They do not love how hard he's made them work. Um, and it was kind of a prime situation for, you know, Hey, if we want to get rid of this guy, all we got to do is lay down and just, you know, you know, get, get our asses beat the next couple of games. Maybe we can get this guy fired. 
Uh, but rather than just kind of throw the white flag on the season, they actually kind of rallied and made that pretty competitive and almost, you know, they looked frisky in that game. Like they could have come away with the win if things had broken a little bit differently early in the game for them. So, you know, I think the fact that the Lions haven't quit and that, you know, you have some vets on this team, they are hungry uh, for a win at 0-2. Uh, that makes them a live dog in my book. Um, the Patriots probably get a win here. And I know the statistics in the trends for the Patriots off a loss are just eye poppingly ridiculous. But, you know, that that's some of that is, you know, you're talking about a team that wins 12 games every year. So they don't lose very often. So, the, you know, there's not a lot of examples where, you know, they've you know, they've had a team that's been this susceptible to getting beat uh, on the road in this kind of a situation. So I feel I feel like the you know, this is the exception to the rule in terms of the Patriots kind of comfortably getting a victory to back up a loss. Um, and this is kind of my two cents on the Patriots defense. Uh, we talked about it at the football at the International Football Betting Conference. Uh, this team is not loaded with talented players. They've drafted exceptionally poorly over the last three or four years, on top of having some of their first round draft picks taken away or trading first round draft picks for guys that aren't on the roster anymore. And, you know, this that lack of, you know, elite athletes on defense catches up to you in this league where, you know, more and more offenses are going with, uh, you know, spread approaches and have, you know, athletes spread out all across the field, Detroit included. Uh, and so I like, you know, the, the, the slower defense, the, you know, the, the limitations that they have, it didn't manifest week one against Houston. And my guess is that was basically because Houston's offensive line is that bad that even with like replacement level players, they were able to get pressure and disrupt Watson. Uh, but then you flip it around and you put them up against a competent offensive line in Jacksonville and they generated nothing. They couldn't do anything to disrupt Bortles. And so I think the Patriots defense, you're going to see Jekyll and Hyde kind of performances out of this unit over the course of the season. When they're playing poor offensive lines and they can get pressure, they're going to look great. And when they're playing teams where they can't generate that that same pressure, uh, they're going to get torched. And uh, if the uh, if the veterans on the Detroit O-line show up and play well on Sunday night football, then the Lions got a chance at the upset here. Well, that is the uh, most exciting bet on this card. You taking the <laughs> Detroit Lions and Matt Patricia. I love it. It's exciting. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos. So please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left. Uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.